All right, so here we're at the back of the house. There's the window, the infamous window. Here's the other window and the door. So the crib is right past this window inside the house. There is the van. We can also see the number. 7527 Marina Parkway. Back side of the house. Now this is where I think he went. So if you go down this alleyway and it's going to curve around. And right here, you're going to come up to Ashcrest. If you go right on Ashcrest, so it's not very far, you're going to come up to Isam. And if you go just a little ways down Isam, look what we have here. Here's the woods. Over here, and I'm going to explain something in a minute. So here we have Big Cedar Wilderness Trails. And also take notice of this sign. Trails open at 1 p.m. on Sundays, closed on Mondays, closed after sundown. So if you're familiar with this area, you're going to know that all of this is closed sundown. Okay. Now, when you leave here, well, let me show you all something else first. So we're going to go back up and I'm going to show you something else. So we also have vacant houses, one vacant house being built, woods, okay. Now, if you come right here, sorry guys, if you come down here, guess where this takes you? Here's the woods all on the side of you that leads to the trails on this side. And it'll take you back out where I just showed you. The Cedar Wilderness Trails. If you keep going around, I'm going to show you where this is going to take you. Christie Lane, which in turn turns into... There you see it, Florina Parkway. And right up here, is their house, there's the front. So, maybe, possibly, could he have went through the side of the house. I see a gate here, so I don't think so. Um, there is another fence here. So, regardless if he took the front way, even though he came out the back, we have fences here. You could get through, but he's more likely to take that back way. But I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of where this actually leads to. So we're going to go back right the way we came. And Florina is going to turn into Christy Lane. And once we get down Christy Lane, I got to find my turn, y'all. right here this is where you can go directly into the woods here or if he came and this is leading this away is going to lead to the cedar wilderness trails he 
could have went this away, or if he did take that back away, then this is where we came from, which takes you down right here. Bacon house, woods. See, this is the corner over here where I showed you from Florina Parkway, which turns into Christie. He could have went straight through and come all the way back. Or he could have took the first route that I showed you. A quick alleyway. A quick right and a left and takes you down here. Now, I'm going to show you this. So, it was mentioned that there was a trail, not this trail, a trail of blood that was leading from the woods to where he was found. Now here we are, Saddle Ridge. If you come straight out of here, it's going to take you down Saddle Ridge. And if you go a little ways down, sorry, I gotta go a little further, I gotta find it. I don't think it's even this far. Here's Wooden Homestead, okay. This is the memorial. As you can see, 7519. This is where poor baby Cash's memorial is. So somewhere here is where he was found. Now, on Molly Go Lightly's channel, um, she actually had some money that was out there, and she said that it was between Sandal Ridge, on the corner of Sandal Ridge and Wood Homestead. Okay, so there we go, and this is the spot. I have verified this. Now, I want you to take a look at something. Here's where the memorial is. Look how close that is. So, um, comment down below and tell me what you think. And give this video a thumbs up. Because I want to get the word out. Because I want justice for Cash. He deserves it. And so does his brother and his family. God bless everyone, and please remember, always spread love and not hate. Be blessed and keep the faith. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be informed when I post another video. Bye, guys.